Hi, it's Dr. Parikh, and we are to Module 3. Uh, so there is, I just realized, I think I need to move this. This needs to go up to Module 2. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. All right. Uh, so along with the videos, there are concept map samples this year, or this module. Um, and then there's the typical academic writer. Uh, so there's basics of APA style. Um, and for this one, you don't have to do all of them right now. I should have mentioned uh, up here actually. So I have you do them a little out of order, uh, but you do all of them eventually. So if you just did all of them, it's not a big deal. Um, how to find reliable sources. Um, citing sources, bias-free language, uh, and bias-free language you'll notice there's lots and lots of different things and that's partly because uh, there are different standard, there are different pieces that have come out at different times. So for example last week we looked at guidelines released at the end of 2021 and so those might have more comprehensive information or more up-to-date information than things that are an academic writer. But also, I just believe that this kind of writing takes a long, you know, there's a lot of details and so more exposures increase the, you know, the amount of learning. And also I want to keep in mind that this is lifelong learning because standards will change. Um, cultural preferences will change and also awareness will change. Uh, APA style blog, just another resource on bias-free language. Um, here we're mostly focused on pulling things together and outlining your discussion. Again, if you're for the in-person class, uh, your modules might not fit quite as tightly. Uh, the rhythm tends to be a little bit different for the in-person class and I also tend to go over things in class a little bit. So you already have me saying, here's what's coming up. Um, here you're doing, a, you know, you're, you're doing simultaneously, you are writing up notes for previous articles, finding new articles. Um, you are not spending as much time with those as you might have spent with your first one or two articles, but you're also not expected, especially for four, five, and six, you're not expected to report out quite as much information. Um, but these are a lot of quick turnarounds. I encourage you, feel free to just uh, do all your articles on Monday uh, so that I can approve them all and you have a little more time to work with them. Um, by the end of the week, you're pulling together a concept map and again, there's examples of what that might look like. Uh, it might be something that you just kind of make in a word. It might be something where you print things out and tape them all together. Uh, and just uploading a photo like this is fine. Um, you're also going to be scheduled, and the, the date for this might change semester to semester, um, but you're going to be scheduling a feedback session with me or requesting a video. Um, for online, I definitely give you the opportunity to request a video in person. Um, my policy might change semester to semester. Um, I really, I strongly encourage you to do a live meeting with me because we can have back and forth, we can clarify things. Uh, I think you can get a lot more out of it. And I think for me, uh, I would be really nervous about it. And so I'd be really inclined to ask for a video instead just to avoid the tension of that meeting. But when I ask students about it, what I get so often was it was a lot less scary than I thought it would be. Um, I am very cautious. I take very seriously that I'm asking you to be really vulnerable. And one of my, um, my superpower, uh, people tell me, is that I can give bad news or I can give critical feedback without saying that the person is bad. Uh, and with emphasizing what's going well and the way that you can improve. Um, so I think I am uniquely positioned to teach this course in a way that's honest and detailed and also helpful no matter what level you're coming at with writing. 
uh, you're also going to put together an outline. And by out so concept map is kind of loosey goosey, as you see. Um, the focus here is just on breaking things up and having at least three different sources under two themes. But this discussion outline is quite detailed. You are writing out most of this section, but you'll get most of the information from your, your first three article notes. Um, so it goes fairly quickly. Uh, next module, we'll be looking into putting together more of the paper. And by the end of module four, you have your first final paper. So this class happens very quickly. Um, let me see, is there anything else I want to con comment on? Make sure uh, that you're still doing your discussion posts. Those are meant to help prop up your grade. Uh, you're still doing paraphrases, so you're still getting peer feedback. Uh, and let's see. Yeah. And you've got APA quiz happening in the middle too. So there's still a lot of assignments. Each of them, you know, none of them are for our assignments, um, but it, it is still a lot of little things as you go. Take care. Bye-bye.